Um, it's been pretty outstanding to watch uh, Mabry uh, play volleyball throughout her high school career. She's uh, a leader um, on the floor, off the floor. Welcome back to Behind the Number. My name is Madison Surface, and today we're taking a look at a Newcastle volleyball player who in all three years of high school received all district, all conference, and all state. She's a three-year state champ and broken two school records of most kills in a match and most kills in a season. She was named Max Prep's Freshman of the Year and followed that up with Prep Volleyball's Sophomore of the Year. This is Mabry Schaffmaster. I got into volleyball basically because I have three older sisters, Melanie, and she's 18, Macy, and I think she's about 27, and then Morgan is about to turn 30, I'm pretty sure, but she doesn't like to say that she's about to turn 30. Melanie plays volleyball at the University of Minnesota right now, she sets, and my Macy, yeah, my second oldest sister, Macy, played basketball here, and then she played volleyball, and she didn't play any sports in college. And then my oldest sister, Morgan, played volleyball at Northern Kentucky, and she played volleyball at West Florida. Well, I started playing volleyball when I was about five at the YMCA for Optimist, because we, my parents just put us in every sport to see what we liked. And then I um, did about two years of that, and then I went to Montana, and I did the training team twice. And so then now, if you add it all up, I think I've been playing Montana for a total of about 12 years. Probably my favorite or longest lasting memory of Mabry was in the national championship semifinals and Mabry had gone through a really tough road. She was the youngest player on the floor and was struggling horribly. I gave her a hug when she came over to the sideline. She was teared up and uh, I simply told her she's my horse if she never wins a race. I uh, just wanted her to know that I believed in her but I also understood just what kind of pressure she was under being that young and you know she came out of it. She popped, snapped out of it and performed admirably. Every year I've gotten all state, all conference, and all county for, actually all district for um, high school, and then in club I got all American three years in a row. Um, obviously we won state three times. I have gotten, I've broken two school records, um, most kills in a match, and then most kills in a season, and I got a thousand kills last year. And then my freshman year I won Max Preps National Freshman of the Year, and then the next year I won Prep Volleyball National Sophomore of the Year, and then I think that's it. <laughs> in volleyball, she can be very angry. I think she's very angry in volleyball, but it's just how she comes off. Um, she's more of like the heat, and I would say when she gets heated, I'm more of like the cooling factor, and I'm just like, okay guys, calm down. But she'll be, she'll start yelling, or just not talk to anyone. Well, Mabry as a player uh, is, is very different than Mabry as the person. Uh, as a player, very, uh, very intense, uh, very uh, uh, tightly wound, uh, hard to get a read on sometimes because she's such a perfectionist. Uh, as a person, uh, much different. She's still a little hard to get a read on, but she's very quiet, a little more... Uh, standoffish but as a player she can become very demonstrative very aggressive and but it's uh, the big key with her is always that she's a perfectionist and hard on herself very very hard on herself easy to coach but hard on herself she wants to save every animal in the world she wants to you know do everything and, and have all these things to make it better and why do people treat people like that and and why can't everybody just be nice but but then you see her when she's playing volleyball and you're like oh my god <laughs> she just did you just see what she said on the court? Or yeah. did you just, I mean, like, it's just totally different. I mean, and she just turns it on and she's just different. She's zero to 60 very fit, very quickly. I like high school a lot because I get to play with all the people I go to school with and we have a really good community of people. So since we've won state like a couple times, there's a lot more people have started knowing that like we're kind of good. And it's just really fun because the last three years I got to play with my sister. And so that's like really fun because she just sets me the whole time. When she got into high school, it was probably the best three years playing with her. Muncie was super fun playing with her. It was a lot of fun. It's going to be sad. Like, I'm not going to get to play with her again. 
So UNC offered me and after I went on a couple of visits and then I went on a couple of visits in camps to Duke and they offered me and then Villanova offered me so then I made the decision to go to UNC because they have their coaching staff is so great they're all so nice and all of the girls that I'm going there to play with are just awesome and all the girls that are there now that I will end up playing with are just so nice and cool and like accepting of people that are coming in and their campus is just beautiful they have beautiful colors obviously and it was just the perfect fit for me. I was ecstatic with her commitment to you and see it's like family it's like sending her to take to stay with a second family I mean there's no question in our minds that they will help her and be there no matter what happens. That if she got stuck somewhere and people dumped her off and she didn't have a way back, that she could call them and they would run right over and get her and take care of her. And um, that's just kind of how we felt. The head coach at UNC is so awesome. Um, his coaching style is exactly what I wanted. Like really personable and wants to connect with you as an individual, but also like competitive. And he wants you obviously to try your hardest and work as hard as you can. To make the team as a like the team as a whole better and make yourself better in the process, and like he's gonna hold you accountable for everything you do and make sure you know get to practice on time, like try your best in weights and stuff. And that was one of the first questions I asked him when I went there as like a 15 year old. I was like, you know, what's your coaching style? Like, what do you do? Like, if someone does this, like, what do you do? And then he's just like super competitive, super nice and personable, and it's just he's like one of the best coaches ever that I'm so excited to play for. Basically, my day when I go to school, I wake up at about 6.30, you know, get ready, make a breakfast, all that stuff, go to school. I get there at about, I don't know, 6.55, like the latest I can possibly get there. Um, I do a full day. I have like math, AP chemistry, all those classes that I just enjoy so much. And then after that, if, we ha if it's school season, I go to practice for about two hours until about 5.30. And then if it's the right season, I work at the YMCA and I coach a youth volleyball league there and then if it's a game day I just about sh I show up at probably like five and then we scrimmage around play and then after that I just go home like do homework have dinner and go to bed um, if it's club then after school I go home and do my homework and then I leave for volleyball at about 550 we usually practice from anywhere from 9 to about 945 from like 7 to 945 or something like that something crazy and then I end up going home and just showering and passing out because I'm so tired. <laughs> so. When I was little, my great grandma would take us to church with her and like me and my sister would basically just go down in the basement and play because we weren't really involved. And then I got, when I was a freshman, a senior on the volleyball team, her name's Marissa, she introduced me to Young Life and she said, oh, you should totally come. And at the time I was super uncomfortable. I was like, oh, like I don't go to church or anything. And so I went and it was so awesome, like everybody was so nice. And so every single year I've gone to Young Life, like every single time. And it's super fun and I just like made a ton of friends. And so then that in my personal life, like it brought me way closer to my boyfriend because he's a Christian too. And so like sometimes I would end up going to church with him and his family. And I feel like it's just made me like a more patient, understanding person than I used to be because I just think about it in like the bigger picture. I'm like, is this really like worth it to do this? or? Like what, what, what do I think about myself if I did this or something? So I just like kind of slow it down and like it's really helped me just become like a more patient and like better a better friend and hopefully a better daughter and like sister and stuff to my family, so. And before y'all head out, we're gonna do a few quick questions with Mabry. Mabry, what's your favorite color? Purple. What are you scared of? The dark. <laughs> what's your favorite movie? Guardians of the Galaxy. What song is your hype song? Power by Kanye. If you could be any animal, what would you be? A giraffe. And what's your favorite place in Newcastle? Weenie World. <laughs> Weenie World? What is Weenie World? <laughs> it's basically just an ice cream place. Do you want to go get some ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go! This is the Henry County Pothole. It's basically chocolate ice cream with like brownies and little Reese cups in it and like fudge and stuff because I just love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mabry, so the final question of the show is what is one thing you want people to remember about you? Oh gosh. <laughs> one thing would probably be um, that even though like on when I play volleyball I'm super competitive and people probably think I'm mean that like I'm actually like a really caring and like apathetic, not apathetic, empathetic person and 
that I just like really care about people and like animals and like I just like I'm a nice person and I'm, I'm not mean like I promise because everybody thinks I'm mean and I'm not I mean. don't think you're mean I don't think you're <laughs> I'm mean. not mean I promise <laughs> all right thank you so much Mabry thank you guys for having me <laughs> Okay, so I want to give a shout out to my one of my biggest supporters, my boyfriend William. He's awesome. Hey, like you're awesome. Um, my best friend Layla, she is crazy, and I hope she watches this. And if she doesn't, I'll be really, really hurt. And a bunch of my other friends, I know Zoe. I hate Zoe. Like if I finally say hi to you, you're gonna be really mad at me. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs>